dress for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl Kaylin we are back with another video today it's gonna be a little day in the life I figured why not film we have a little bit going on today so it's 9 30 in the morning usually we wake up at like 9 so this is like an accurate day in life this time I just Kind of like emptied some things out of the fridge i'm making baby girl breakfast i just gave her her milk and now i am making her breakfast and my breakfast so that we can get a good start to the day because yesterday let me just tell you yesterday drained me so i guess today kind of can be like a mom vlog because it's just me and her today uh, but we have a play date later on and yeah so baby girl just turned two y'all know that if you don't know now you know and these tantrums have been out of control and yesterday like i tell you worn out i never i i, I feel like after like a track meet championship i i wasn't even that worn out i mean every part of me was exhausted every single bit my brain was there's nothing left emotionally physically everything she drained it all out of me with them temper tantrums so the house is kind of like a mess so we'll do a little bit of that stuff but she's in there watching the wiggles now and then i'm making her pancakes and then she usually eats pancakes and bananas in the morning that is her go-to um she started bright and early yesterday so honestly i didn't even get my bible time in and I know that that probably has like an effect on it too but like i am like happy to say like with her i handled it all well um like i never lost my patience with her like in front of her but it was just like there was moments where i was like okay i have to walk away right now and i have to take a breather and then i ended up having a therapy appointment yesterday so i got out of the house at her nap time which was good because I was able to, you know, go talk and just remove myself from the house for a little bit, which is always needed. It's been so hot. It's like, you don't even want to be outside. So what's the point of summer? Honestly, it's been like almost a hundred degrees and no one wants to be out there sweltering. So we kind of been cooped up in the house. So today will be good to get her out. I'm actually having a play date with um, one of my friends from work and her daughter. Her daughter's older than my daughter, but she's still young. But we're gonna go to the um, urban air, the little trampoline park, which if she has a great time, we're signing up for a season pass because honey, or a group pass, whatever. I know they have summer passes, but summer's pretty much over. So we'll sign up for a group pass and then she'll be able to, I mean a membership, and she'll be able to go all the time, depending on how like how much it is and if she likes it but we need something to get her out the house some days so that's something we could do like on the weekends or in the week just to get her out things me and her can do like i don't know we just have to get creative at this point of getting her energy out and keeping her entertained but what scares me is the temper tantrums outside of the house because homegirl was throwing herself and all that and like I have nieces and nephews so it's like I know I know that they go through this stage but she's been so like perfect and an angel and now all of a sudden it's like where is all this coming from so just pray for me and excuse my allergies first thing in the morning I can never breathe so waiting for my allergy mess to kick in bananas and pancakes she likes blueberries too but we'll save that as another snack and then i'm getting um i'm making myself sausage and some eggs just sausage and eggs here you go so i'm trying to escape she's in there doing what toddlers do we've also we don't like do a whole bunch of screen time because i know that can like play a role in like behaviorally as well so like she really only gets to watch tv in the morning and our afternoons are like activities so we do all that um i'm making my sausage i'll have to unload the dishwasher put the dishes in the dishwasher at 
some point, but I'll do that probably when I put her down for a nap. So our play date's at 1, so I'm going to try to put her down at like 11.30 to see if she'll go to sleep. If not, it is what it is. Um, so we can leave by like 12.30. Make some eggs. We need to go grocery shopping. That's Maybe we'll do a Saturday reset this week, or I'll do, maybe I'll do a weekend vlog. I don't know, because we have plans tomorrow, and we don't have anything on Saturday, so, I mean, I don't have anything. Jared will be going out, but I'm just going to make breakfast. Or come in here <sighs> all right we just ate it is well we ate a while ago we finished eating a while ago it's 11 o'clock now we were in the bathroom for like 15 minutes because it takes her forever but we are still potty training hi, hi. we're still potty training and now she's like getting into a thing where she goes to the bathroom and tries to go on her own without telling Thank us you. in her pull up so she's like going to go hide to go poop and now it's like now we have to make sure you know if she's going to the bathroom she's not in there doing that so she tried to go in there and do that and i'm like girl so i went in there and then put her on the potty and it took her a little bit but she did go so yay for that she's been like inconsistent but i am not taking the approach of like you need to do this now like you you know what i mean i am taking an easygoing approach and just trying to familiarize her with the potty as much as i can every single day and then rewarding her when she does go but i'm not being like a push about it because she's just turned two. I know some people wait and like wait until their child's ready. Um, just what we want to do in our household. We wanted to start early and get that out the way. And she's been doing really well. Going to keep this approach because it's working so far. But usually in the morning I sit and I do like my little devotional. So I have my little um, Bible study basket. So I usually do this in the morning. Steadfast Motherhood by Daily Grace Co. And then I do my social media fast reading and notes for the day and that's pretty much what I do in the morning while she's watching her show or playing or doing whatever she's doing so I'm gonna read this yesterday since it was a rough day your girl read two I ended up doing it all at night and I read two of them because I needed some strength I needed some encouragement so I'm gonna do today's if I can read it um it's day 34 this is a 60 day um devotional so psalm 16 verse 11 you reveal the path of life to me and your presence is abundant joy at your right hand are eternal pleasures and the title is unchanging joy there is nothing like looking into your child's eyes for the first time as your gaze meets theirs joy bursts forth in your heart and this is not the only time your child will fill your life to the brim with joy there are dance recitals ace tests silly jokes and before bed hugs that also add a sprinkle of happiness to family life what a blessing it is that we can enjoy our children but for every moment of joy there seems to be a moment of melancholy as well there are plenty of tantrums and tired nights and the struggles and sorrows of raising children in a sin-filled world never seem to end parenting has many highs and lows several twists and turns we hardly know what to expect each day should our inner joy come and go with the ups and downs of motherhood it can but we do not have to source our joy from something so fickle as parenting the bible tells us that joy 
joy, pure and unending joy, is found not in the contents of our day, but in the presence of God. This joy is not dependent on our circumstances or our children's behavior, but on our relationship with God himself. Through Jesus, we are offered a path to true and everlasting life. Our hopeful expectation of spending eternity in God's joy-filled presence gives us joy today. This means that the burden of producing or preventing joy is not on our kids or ourselves. Additionally, the joy we are looking for cannot be found in restful vacations or regularly scheduled date nights. Our inner joy cannot be sustained by stringing one momentary joy after another. We need a source of joy that is eternal and unchanging. That source is God. In light of this, we have a new way of thinking about joy. It is okay if our days are not joy-filled because it is not today but the joyful expectation of eternity with God that makes us glad. We are free to enjoy today but our heart should be set on the joy of eternity. And then the prayer is, God, it is such a merciful gift that you've given in your son. Through him, I can have enduring joy no matter what my days hold. Teach me to source my joy from you, for I know that joy is readily available in your presence. Amen. And like just how true that is, because with all the interactions of the day and like work, kids, you know, other people, things that happen, like the unexpected things, you just can't look to those things in people to source your joy and source your happiness our true happiness and joy comes from the Lord and that is why it's so important every day to get into his presence and be in the word and hear what he has to say to us and fill ourselves with that one of the things that I'm doing with a group of girls who attended the conference I went to last year for Sarah Jakes Roberts we're doing a seven-day bible study plan on the bible app and it's basically talking about um the woman in the well and how basically our source of living water like that living water that we need to fully quench our thirst to fully fill us only comes from Jesus hi and then in the social media fast it's also talking about that like that's why it's so important every day to fill our lives with with God days are gonna be long tiring like that's what it is but if my focus is on God and I know my joy comes from him then that is what I'll be striving for so I just love this book so much this has been like such a blessing for this time and season um just as I'm navigating through these new years as a to like toddler stage you learn something new with each stage and like you go through new things in each stage so this has definitely been a major blessing the newborn stage it was like you know dealing with like the tiredness and not getting sleep and having to be with the baby like 24 7 and not being able to do anything and you finally get to a point where like they're a little self-sufficient and they start playing by themselves and they can entertain themselves they can walk around you don't have to carry them all this kind of stuff and then the tantrums come so it is always a new stage and it's like this is my first time doing it all it is a big lesson learned so for all the moms out there like power through girl because we all are dealing with our struggles together you are not alone every day is not always you know picture perfect so yeah cam where's my pen See, it's like the things like this. I'm pretty sure she put my pen in the toilet. I'll be right back. All right, she did not put it in the toilet, but she put it in the trash. But I'll prefer the trash. So yeah, I'm glad we have bathrooms I can lock from the outside because if not, she'll bring everything into the bathroom and she thinks the bathroom is like a place to play as well. So anyway, the 40-day social media fast. I am on day 18. This has been good. So I'm not going to lie. I have had some moments where I've been on Instagram, but it hasn't been like, you know, scrolling for hours and hours and hours. Um, I've been talking to like certain people. It's kind of like texting, but I actually, I don't know. I'm not penalizing myself. The whole point is just to realize like what I'm getting out of it, but I haven't been like on my um, social media to be like just on it. It's been for a reason. So every day I've been doing what the title was, notes from it, and then my overall thoughts. So I'm going to do day 18 today. Then we'll be ready to try to see if she'll go down for a nap early and then I can get dressed and not look like this. So, and then by the time we wake her up, it'll be time to go. So I'll have to pack her bag and stuff. So 718. I literally cannot believe that it is July 18. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do this and I'll get back to you.
So today's was really good. Today was talking about Genesis 16, 13, and it was talking about the name of God, um, El Rai, which I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, it means the God who sees me. And I think a lot of the times with social media, like a lot of people get so consumed in it because they want to be seen, noticed, acknowledged, accepted, loved, wanted, all that. Um, they're looking for like approval all that kind of stuff through like what you post and what you want to receive in return and this is basically saying like god sees us no matter what like there's nothing that we have to do there's we don't have to beg we don't have to post anything like every day he sees us so in response to his generous seeing let's stop worrying about whether we are seen and lift our eyes to see others whom he sees so it challenges us challenges us at the end to take it off of ourselves and we always want you know are we seen are we noticed do people care so forth and so on but how about we take that and we we notice and we see other people who might be in need of being seen or who feel that way um it was talking about sarah and hagar and that story of how hagar was like alone and jesus saw her and talked to her and it was just saying how how can we go about seeing other people like our family and friends um but the lost and lonely as well so it said god sees you let that inspire you to see others today and then it's hard to be on the lookout for others when you're desperate to be noticed yourself so it's like a selfish tendency like we kind of want things to be about ourselves and centered on ourselves but that's not what we're here for we're here to serve the lord and by serving him it's through loving others and you know being good stewards to the people and the things that he has blessed us with so the prayer at the end says el Rai, thank you for seeing me may the fact that i am the apple of your eye change the, my view of me and how i post and how i pray i don't need to be seen by everyone at all times because i know you see me at all times in the name of jesus the one who came to earth to literally lay his eyes upon humanity thank you and amen so that was really good i just like that it's so like thought provoking so yeah tomorrow we'll be on day 19 and we'll be almost halfway through they were almost halfway through ah. yay so yeah that's it so it is 11 26 so it's time to see if i can get her to take a nap that's what time it is guess what time nap, nap time you gonna take a nap all right so we're gonna i'm gonna try to lay her down take a nap and then get myself ready so that when i wake her up in an hour we can hurry up and skedaddle out the house and go to our play date so i will probably tune back in once i'm either ready or getting ready i don't know but y'all see me when y'all see me i'll be back all right y'all so we are in the car and we are on the way baby girl did not go to sleep but it's okay i tried to put her down if she didn't she didn't so we're gonna be up and we go to bed early tonight so we are on the way it's 12 40 and it says i should get there a little after one which is fine i did not fix my nail that's what i needed to do but i did not fix my nail but let's go I'm currently running her bath water to get it warm but I'm running her bath water it was a, such a success it was such a nice time um 
my coworker's daughter um i think she's five but so cute so adorable they were jumping um i try to take a video so if it was a good enough video you would have seen it already but cam's just so little like she's like what am i like what am i doing what am i supposed to be doing but hopefully this has tired her out she did not get her nap today so she is downstairs about to eat her dinner get her milk and then i'm running the bath now so that we can do bath and then get in the bed by seven o'clock jesus and then I am going to empty the dishwasher and do all that kind of stuff. And then to figure out what we're going to eat tonight. But we had pizza at the place. So we had lunch. The drive wasn't bad. I didn't get any traffic or anything. So that was good. But yeah, it was a fun time. It was like my first little play date as a mom by myself, like a mommy and daughter play date. So that was really cute. I did get some mail that I want to show you guys, but I'll do all that when like she's um in the bed but i wanted to come here and get a hoodie because it's cold yeah i just wanted to do a little day in the life like this is definitely a mom vlog day in life but we were out and about i did go to target so i showed you guys what i got from target ignore the mess we're doing construction in here but did go to target which i always get like chickened out of going places by myself with her because y'all know the world is just crazy and I'm always just like, eh. And especially, you know, us being girls and me having to like get her car seat and it's hard to keep an eye on everything and the world we live in is just a scary place. So I'm always like, eh, about going out with her by myself. But today was an A++ for me, okay? We went out to play date. We went out to Target. I was good with her stroller, putting everything in the car, her keeping her occupied. She didn't throw any tantrums. I was able to get some groceries. A quick little grocery run because we needed orange juice. I needed some juice. She needed dinner stuff. And we get all that from Target. And I just wanted a pink drink from Starbucks, okay? And that's like the closest Starbucks. And I was like, well, I could go get her stuff because she needed milk anyway too. So did that. So I'm very proud of myself for doing that by myself. Yeah, I think I did pretty good for my mom outing today. We didn't have any tantrums today that were like yesterday. So thank you, Jesus. I want to try to do some more stuff with her and find some more places that we can go that, you know, cater to her age and where she can like just get some of that energy out because that little girl got a lot of energy so that is that yeah so i'm gonna show you guys what is what i got in the mail i'm very excited about that and tonight's gonna be chill we're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat i need to do my bible study tonight i'm gonna try to set aside like an hour and a half to do that and that will actually be a different video so i'll show you guys like what i'm doing but if you want to see like, the whole video you will already have seen it for this because this video is going to go up on monday and i'm going to film the other video tonight that's going up friday so if you're watching this that video already came out friday so that'll be my bible study my nighttime bible study routine and then i'm going to do like a like a night routine um winding down doing stuff um getting ready for bed you know the whole night routine but it includes my bible study so just been thinking of like some different content to do that keeps it like vloggy lifestyle but I'm also you know y'all know everything I do incorporates Jesus Christ because that is my main priority so if you didn't already see that go ahead and watch that video um I am trying out some new editing software I don't know if I'm gonna use it for the video tomorrow but I definitely want to try to use it for this video but yeah I'm getting her towels this morning I did put away all her clothes my husband actually folded them and I put them away I didn't film that because I did that when I woke her up but yeah that is it and we're gonna do our little nighttime routine and call it a day so I will tune back in <laughs>
supposed to film myself eating and I surely didn't. I ate. I wanted to show you guys the package that I got. I was very confused on what it was and I was like, oh yeah, I did order something. So I've been using Fenty Skin Care. I have one of the travel size skincares that I've been using, but it's really only been the daytime products. So I went ahead, decided that I liked it. I really like how it's been making my skin. I like how my makeup applies after I use the moisturizer. Like everything's just been 10 out of 10. So I wanted to give myself a little bit before buying like the full size um, products, but I went ahead and got them. It was $140. No, it was not budgeted. I spent that money. But we have a trip coming up and I wanted to bring my travel size stuff so I didn't want to have to like use all my travel stuff. And I need like the nighttime care anyway. So there's two products that I haven't used yet, haven't tried, so we'll see. But I watched a couple videos and stuff at work and everybody had good, good reviews. And I don't really know, I would say that I'm more of like a dry skin or like a combination because sometimes I can be oily, but I think I'm more so dry skin. I got the Total Cleanser and I just got everything in the full size and then I got well this was it doesn't say how much it was I got the whole set and then I got extras on the side and they just put it all in the same thing so I got the total cleanser the hydrating milky toner essence fat water so the milky fat water which people were saying that they use at night and it just gave like a nice coat um at night and then I have the regular fat water. So this is like very popular, the fat water in her line. Both are toners. They are supposed to help with like minimize your pores so that people like don't see. And it really does work. Cause I'm telling you, it like, my skin is like tight, like after. So these two, you can use day and night, but all the videos that I watched, people use this during the day and then this at night. This like, I wouldn't say it dries your face out, but what I saw in the videos were like people use it on each side. When you put the regular one on, you can't like really like slide your hand down your face. Whereas they said with this one, which I know that for a fact cause I use this one, but they said this one is like a nice, like smooth slide. So it's like, oh, that'd probably be nice to add moisture in at night. So a lot of people use this at night, but this one is the one that if you're gonna use it during the day, it's more so for like dry, dry, um, dry skin so then i got the hydrovisor broad spectrum mineral spf 30 sunscreen moisturizer and i love this this is actually what i use every day in the morning i reapply it throughout the day and most of the time i'll apply it and then apply the skin tint that i use by fenty and it just it looks so beautiful and i think it says too like if you use this before putting your makeup on. Yeah, it says apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas. So I'm telling y'all, but this is the packaging. The packaging is so cute. When you get this, then all you have to do is buy the refills after. So I think you just squirt, 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 and it's cute. You twist it and that's it. That closes it and you open it. So the packaging is lovely. I gotta tell you. Then I got the instant reset. This is the overnight recovery gel cream. I think it's supposed to be like brightening too unless I didn't buy the one that I thought I was getting. But it says use every night to help skin bounce back to life by the morning. So I have to figure out how the heck to put it together, but it comes with like three separate parts. And I don't know how the heck, it tells you how you're supposed to put it on. It says you're supposed to insert it. Okay, now it's closed, but yeah. So got all that. We'll see how everything works. I'm gonna use it tonight, but you'll see me use it in my night routine video. Or if you haven't watched it, go ahead and go watch that one. But that is all that I have for you guys today. That's pretty much it. I did get this. Um, I went to TJ Maxx the other day and I got this Finish Touch Flawless Cleanse Facial Cleanser and Massager by Flawless. And I saw someone else using like a silicone brush when I was watching videos about this. Just so I usually use my hands or everything, but just so I don't have to use my hands. Got that. So that is in addition to what I'll be using. I'll have to see if it's charged. If not, well. But that is all I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little mom vlog day in the life, spending the day with me. I'm just gonna be chilling. If you wanna see what I did the this night, the rest of the night, like I said, the video, it's already been out and this video is coming out Monday. So if you have not watched that video, you can go ahead and watch that video and finish out the night with me. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.
I'm gonna sing like a top down